<laughs> Warm weather, wind, bad combination for snow. It really is not. You know, we had such a great start to the <laughs> ski season. We got knocked down, but we'll recover. Uh, it is the subject of tonight's forecast. Focus, the ski report. We're going along so great. A darn pineapple express really uh, knocks the wind out of you. Uh, snow level up around 8,000 feet. Schweitzer Mountain, they are planning to open tomorrow. My very strong advice is to double check before you head out tomorrow to make sure that folks are opening. Mount Spokane has decided to close uh, tomorrow. They took a, a pretty good hit with the rain and the wind today on the snow, uh, but temperatures are dropping and we they should be uh, in good shape. I double check. They may try to open for Saturday and Sunday, but they will be closed tomorrow. Lookout Pass is also going to be closed uh, tomorrow uh, because of the wet and windy conditions of today. They're going to move some snow around and recover uh, from the warm conditions. Uh, check back for a possible weekend opening. 49 degrees north is planning to open tomorrow. Again, I would double check and that goes uh, for Silver Mountain as well. They were closed today, planning to open tomorrow, but uh, make a few calls before that. I, that. I don't know where that graphic came from. Pardon me. No snow, not even in the mountains uh, today because we have been very, very warm. I'm going to show you our national map uh, with the high temperatures nationally. It's uh, fairly impressive. Our cold front now is making its way off to the east. Behind it, we are going to be cooling down for tomorrow, but not even back down to average. We'll drop 10 degrees, but still be in in the mid 40s. We were in the 50s uh, today as I showed you. Here's a look at our forecast going from our current time over the next 24 hours. The last of the showers will be coming to an end. We do have the potential for some isolated mountain snow showers tomorrow, but for the most part we are going to be dry with mostly cloudy skies clearing out a little bit for Saturday. Saturday uh, could be the nicer of the two days before our next system comes in on Sunday. 50 degrees right now in Spokane. The winds have died down west southwest at 19 miles per hour. Our peak wind gusts 46 miles per hour. That happened around noon. 52 right now and cloudy in Coeur d'Alene. Here's a look at our national satellite and radar. Uh, we've got some heavy rain over parts of Florida today and then boy very quiet easy travel until you get to the west where we have had the wet and windy conditions although no mountain snow because the Look at these temperatures, 71 in Billings, 72 today in Denver, 60s in Portland, Boise and Salt Lake City. It was 63 in Minot, the coldest air through the upper Midwest and the Northeast, but 40s, that does not look like a late November weather map. Not at all. In your seven day forecast, the only place you'll find snow is in that little transition there. Uh, we are dry Friday, dry Saturday. Sunday, it's going to be warm and wet again uh, with a high of 50. You are going to have no problems uh, with icy roads if you are traveling on Sunday. I have a two on there for the impact. That is just for the rain and the breezy conditions on a scale of one to five. And then we cool down a little bit. Now this is a La Nina winter. Mm -hmm. I've had to give myself a little pep talk because man, I was <laughs> wanting to go skiing this weekend and hopefully we'll recover, but we certainly have a nice long ski season um, ahead. Yeah, just wait for it. Wish wait casting. For it. I like what it. What you call that? <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs>